Part 20. Digital Dependency If the digital mind ever becomes independent from people, it'll simply stop paying attention to people, just the way we don't pay attention to ants. As long as digital capacities are dependent on people, it's a symbiosis. The socio-digital organism will suffer from the diseases associated with parasites, destroyers, and natural disasters. In this system, parasites should be looked for among people. As long as there are a few people willing to take away and divide, they are provided with benefits. However, if there are too many of them, the community will have to fence them off and protect itself. The pests, like individual hackers or their groups, are like a slight ailment. Cancer cells are a major disease. In places where there is a voluntary services exchange, the demand for tools facilitating life will grow. Where assets are taken away under the threat of violence, the demand for tools of terror will form. For modern authorities, it's costly to carry out socially useful functions and the tax collection procedures are based on the threat of harm. Corporations control significant chunks of the digital network. It's natural that there are leaders in the market and that they control more than others. But the authorities can corrupt the market, offering protection on their own terms. Our movements, conversations, correspondence, and payment transactions are already fully controlled. It's a little late to fuss. The bad thing is that all these controlling tools are in the hands of those whose planning horizon is limited by the next elections or revolution date. The sick organism is ready to spend all accumulated resources just to last a little bit longer. Once the disease is cured, it'll be possible to think not about a war with a neighbor, but about survival during another ice age or about going beyond the planet's cradle. People are still opposing identification simplification because they regard their habitat as a hostile environment and are hostile to it themselves. This behavior may look correct, but it's extremely inconvenient. One of the reasons to protect against such identification technologies is a low level of public confidence in the government. Freedom can be limited. That is why interesting material should be downloaded from the Internet, and you can work on a computer without a network card.